Yo, what's going on? Did my voice just crack? Yo, what's happening, everybody? You know what it is. My name's Malik. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a Lean Cuisine reaction, y'all. This one's called How Video Game Cutscenes Just Ignore the Boss Fight You Just Had. I'm happy to see something like this because I've always thought about this stuff, whether it be GTA or even wrestling games. Because, like, sometimes I'll be all bloody, then I'll go to the cutscene, then it's just, like nothing happened. Before we get started, though, I'm on the road to 100. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment below which one we'll to see next. I'm running out of video ideas myself, and I've rage quit like three of the past ones I've tried. I need you guys. I don't want to be stuck in this box of just what I know either. Put me on to something. Let me know what's going on. I'm going to get to it. All right, been talking too much. Let's go get to the video. You know, I was wondering who was going around disturbing my troops, destroying my bases and camps. I'm shocked to see that it looks like it's somebody so weak. But I will give it to you. You do seem like a very skilled fighter. That's really how they be talking to you in a game. It's with no emotion at all. Even if you got guns or whatever on you, or even if you're intimidating, they'll just talk down to you. I'm like, nigga, you about to die. You know what this is? It's too bad you couldn't come work for me. We could have really made some great things happen. It seems like all of your hard work has come to an end. We're ready. Fight. <laughs> Damn. That's what I mean, though, talking all that mess, and you still get folded on site. Video game bosses always be talking crazy, though, to be fair. It's just funny to see you play out. Damn! That's <laughs> even got a hit in. Oh, you see that nigga One more thing though is I know the little overkill he's doing, I respect it. Every single game I play, I go for overkill. Unsportsmanlike, yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like to put my foot on people's necks when I play games, especially in Smash. Some people be just falling down, and then it'll be at the end of the game. They'll be on their last talk, and then I'm gonna just jump down with them, say what's up, and let's go ahead and give them a good spike. No sportsmanship, I know. <laughs> Let me guess, this clothes about to be all cleaned up and all. <laughs> You're stronger than I thought. Maybe? You've got a little skill. Oh my god, you just got your ass beat. You were just bloodied. But this is really how these games be, though. Fighting games, too. I forgot the last one I played, or even some like Sonic games, where I'd be like, yo, I really just did so much to this guy, and he's no selling it and just talking to me, monotone, as if I didn't do any sort of damage to this dude. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you do a little more training next time I'll break a sweat. There's no way he should there's no way he should be able to walk away from that. I know you're right though. It was just gruesome and shit. I don't know, man. At least have the character laying on the ground with maybe a little speck of blood, but to have them just completely get up and no sell it and just walk away, 
Ah, this video is very true though. I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it too, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. I appreciate you for watching so much. Be smooth, y'all.